Today what we're going to do is install a Chaos Vepr 12 Quadrail on this new Vepr 12 shotgun. The Chaos Quadrail has four screws that holds the top section in place. It has two set screws on the bottom to secure it so there's no movement after this is installed. First thing you want to do is Make sure your firearm isn't loaded. Take the safety, push it down, pull the bolt carrier back, release it. Now you know the weapon is empty. Take the recoil spring assembly, push the plunger down and then in. This will allow you to then open the dust cover. Take the spring guide assembly, push it forward, and lift it up and out. Now you can slide the bolt and carrier group straight back and pull it up out of position. As you've removed the bolt carrier group from the receiver, you can push the dust cover down. Now to remove the handguard assembly, the locking lever on the right side of the trunny needs to be rotated straight up. That will then allow you to take the gas tube and pull it out of position, which will then release the lower retaining bracket that the gas tube holds in place. Now the locking lever sits in a little detent area right here, and it's pretty stiff. So you can use a pair of pliers, but you're most likely going to uh, mark it up. I have a plastic punch I use. You can use brass or aluminum. Just take it and hit it a few times. Once it is out of position, then you can rotate it so it's straight up. That will then allow you to take the gas tube and take it off the top. Now you can take the retaining bracket and tap it out of position forward so it's loose there. Now the bottom handguard section is pretty snug into the receiver. So again, I take a punch, put it on the corner. Tap it out of position. Now the Chaos Quadrail is a US made part, so it counts as 1922R compliant part, which you'll need to run any magazine higher than five rounds in the firearm. Um, also, is the Carolina Shooter Supply Vepr 12 puck, which is shown right here. Since you have this disassembled, I'd go ahead and change that to give you one more 922R compliant part. If you look at your carrier group here, there is a slot on the end of the piston. What that's designed to do is to grab the puck, and it's going to pull it out of the gas block. I'm going to replace with the US made one the same exact way with the hole in the back and the little dimple on the front. Slide it back into position. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to remove the plastic section of the upper handguard from the gas tube. You can use a vise or a wrench in order to do this. Uh, basically, there are a flat side on each side of this gas tube. If you use a wrench and just grab it, and you're going to twist the handguard 180 degrees so it's upside down, and then it will then pull off. It can be very stiff. Once it's upside down, it will then pull off the bottom, bottom of the gas tube. Another way to remove the upper handguard from the gas tube, if it's on there very stiff and you can't use a crescent wrench to remove it, use a good vise. Snug it up. You don't have to snug it real tight because you don't want to mark up the sides. Um, if it's extremely tight, you may have to use a glove, but just grab your hand and, and rotate it. to 
until it's upside down and then pull it off the bottom. Now we're going to take the bottom section of the cask quad rail. I took the four screws out of the top and we're going to place the back side, which is right here, into the front of the receiver. And then take your retaining bracket and slide it into position. You can take a rubber mount if you want and give it a light tap if it's very stiff. Then you're going to take your gas tube and you're going to set it back down on top of the retaining bracket. There is a locking tab right here that holds the bracket into position. And then you're going to return the locking lever to the bottom the down position. Now you're going to take your chaos top section, you're going to set it down into the groove, replace all four screws, and screw them down tight. Now that all four screws of the top section are tight, you'll notice that it still moves a little bit. Chaos designed it this way to allow for all the variance in the guns. There are two set screws on the bottom side that you are going to adjust tight against the barrel. The first thing you'll do is make sure that it is level left and right and is not canted in any way. Once you have it where you want it, tighten the two set screws on the bottom and then it will not move. Now to reassemble the gun. Lift the dust cover up, take your bolt and carrier group, uh, you're going to pull the bolt forward, you're going to rotate the head so that the numbers line up, you're going to set it down in the track, the way I set it in is the left side first and then I'm going to push forcefully down and roll it to the right. That will then put it back in the track easily, take your recoil assembly slide in the back of the carrier and you're finished.